Hey guys, I thought I'd run down a real quick and dirty rabbit hole here. I'm going to call this the Aurora rabbit hole. I tacked on the end of one of my videos recently a, a little piece of uh, a box art of a Aurora KC-135. And I said, what's wrong with this picture? Well, the KC-135 has no boom and the F-86 has no aerial refueling capability. And then somebody, uh, Chris, posted that he saw in an old movie, The Magnetic Monster, this, which shows an F-86 refueling. And thumbs up to Chris, but yes and no. So I figured I'd take a minute to run down a rabbit hole. When the first generation of jet fighters came out, like the F-84s and F-86s, they were very fuel-thirsty, very short-ranged. And during the Korean War, the American government, for a while, had to base their fighters in Japan because all the air bases in Korea had been overrun. So when our guys flew over to Korea, they were really tight on fuel. Even before this, they knew that they were going to need aerial refueling. So they started playing with it. And they went out to Edwards and they, Boeing bought the rights to a company that had designed a, a tail boom for aero refueling because they were using that in the probe and drogue system. Both of them had their advantages and disadvantages, but this flying tail boom thing really showed the most promise. So they had to see if it would work. So they modified a B-29. They took an F-86 up. They had to pull out, I believe it was the computer for the gun radar because they really didn't know what they were doing at this point. So they figured, well, let's just put the port right in front of the pilot where it'll be easy to see so he can see what he's doing. But all they put in was just a test receptacle and the doors just to see if this could be done. As you can tell by the fact that the F-86 has its landing gear hanging, there were serious speed compatibility issues. But they did get it to work. It went on to the B-29s went on to become KB-29s, and then they were replaced by KB-50s, and then they were replaced by KC-97s. But, of course, the Air Force knew all of these were interim projects until they could get the KC-135 flying, which is, depending on who you want to believe, the real reason the 707 was invented. There's some historical debate about that. Point being that when Jack Linwood did the artwork for Aurora, the only thing he had to go on was their 707 model because the 135s weren't flying yet. So it was painted without a tail boom because nobody knew what the tail boom was going to look like back then. No operational Air Force F-86 ever had an in-flight aerial refueling capability. Who are you going to believe, me or your lion eyes? But the Navy FJ-4 Fury, which was a derivative of the F-86, did have a boom on the left wing so they could do probe and drogue refuelings because the Navy insisted on the ability to aerial refuel. You tend to be that way when you're out over the water. So anyway, just thought you guys might find running down that little rabbit hole interesting and kudos to Chris for having sharp eyes and even noticing that. See you guys next time.